We've been talking about exemplification, which is simply using a specific examples in order to support our point. What I thought we would do for this video is get through the first three steps in the writing process just real quickly on the whiteboard. Uh, we're going to do some pre-writing to generate some ideas, decide what our specific examples are going to be. Uh, then we're going to decide, okay, what are our best three supporting points and match some specific examples with those. And then we're going to write a quick sketch outline before we write our rough draft. So um, I've got a question on the board for you. Uh, why do students love their smartphones? So let's do some pre-writing and get some, some reasons on the board why students love their smartphones. So I'm going to divide the board in half here. Um, what are some reasons? Well, for one, uh, students love texting. Uh, I, we can say apps, but that's too general. We need something more specific. So apps for what? Uh, well, there are apps for games. There's uh, music. What else do students do on their phone? Uh, there's apps for social media. Uh, there are educational apps out there. There are apps for what else? Uh, the calendar, you know, you can keep track of your appointments, track your day. Uh, GPS, you can navigate, you can get directions to anywhere through an app. Um, fast food, I have recently discovered this, that all my fast food places have apps for mobile ordering, which is just almost too convenient. Uh, you think we got enough here? I, I think that we do. Now, we need specific examples for each one of these. Um, I don't want to take the time, uh, since this is a short video, to give specific examples of all of these. So let's go ahead and pick out our first three supporting points first. Um, what do you think are the biggest reasons why students stay on their phones? Uh, let's say music, uh, social media, and which, what's a third one? Well, since I have recently discovered the fast food, we'll go with that one. All right, so we need specific examples of each of these. What are some specific music apps that students use or that anybody uses? Um, well, there's Spotify is a big one. There's Apple Music. Uh, there's your own music collection. Uh, people download MP3s, buy MP3s. Um, what else? There's SoundCloud, Tidal, okay, I think that's it, or YouTube. I think that's enough for music. What about social media? Uh, the big one, Facebook, right? Uh, there's also Instagram, Snapchat, um, what else? Uh, Twitter. Um, I'm sure that my teenage daughter could point out even more, uh, but I think that's enough examples. Uh, what about fast food? What are some fast food places that allow you to mobile order through their app? Um, well, I know Pizza Hut does, and Domino's, that's two pizza places. Uh, Starbucks, uh, Taco Bell, I recently discovered that Chick-fil-A has one. All right, I think that's enough examples. So we, now we have uh, our three supporting points and we have specific examples of each of those. So we're ready to write a quick sketch outline. What do we need for the sketch outline? Well, first we need a topic sentence. Uh, we need our three supporting points and we need to add transitions for each of those before we start writing our rough draft. So what is our topic sentence gonna be? Uh, well, remember, a topic sentence needs two basic parts. We need the limited topic, which is what the paragraph is basically about, and then we need an idea about that limited topic. So, what is our limited topic here? What is this basically about? We're mostly talking about apps, right? So, um, apps are why students love their smartphones. 
So I basically took the rest of it directly from the question. I just made it a statement and there's my topic sentence. So I've got the limited topic apps and the idea about apps is that they're the reason why students love their smartphones. So we've got our three reasons. Now, are we going to use time order or emphatic order to organize our supporting points? Well, time order doesn't really make sense because we're not describing an event or a process. So let's use emphatic order. What is emphatic order also known as? It's the save the best for last order. So what is our most important point, would you say? What is the biggest reason students stay on their phones? I would say social media. And since emphatic means save the best for last, let's uh, save that one for last. So let's go music, food, and social media. All right, I need a transitional phrase before each one. Uh, first, I'm just going to go with first for the first one. And then let's go next. And for this last one, I'm going to use uh, most of all because that's a transition that emphasizes that this is the most important point. Emphasize, that's where emphatic comes from. So um, I'm ready to write my rough draft. I have my first sentence already written, my topic sentence, and then I have, I'm gonna go through it sentence by sentence uh, first, and then I'm gonna write out the point about music as a complete sentence, and then I'm gonna list some specific examples also in a complete sentence. Then. Next, and I'm going to write out about food is a complete sentence and give specific examples of those. And then most of all, social media, write it out as a complete sentence, give specific examples. I'll also end with a conclusion sentence that ties it all together. So that got us through the, uh, we're all the way through, uh, ready to write our rough drafts. And we did that pretty quickly. So that's getting through an exemplification paragraph. You may want to go ahead on your own now after you stop the video and write this paragraph and see how you do and then revise and edit.